Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday, and does that mean we have another promo? Yes, it does. We have another promo coming this weekend, and it's kind of an interesting one because we don't have a loading screen at the moment right now. We don't know clearly what it's gonna be, except for we know it's going to be uh, Conmi Bowl Libertadores related. We know it's gonna be related to that new content that EA is putting out in the game, and we're going to talk about it today because usually on Thursdays we get loading screens, right? We didn't get a loading screen yesterday. Now it's Friday. We don't have anything as of yet. Shapeshifters is ending. We know we're getting Libertadores content, but are we getting something else? I want to kind of talk about that as well. What could happen today? This is kind of like a, a question mark today on what could be coming in FIFA Ultimate Team. We just really don't know that much. One thing we do know is that obviously it is uh, Libertadores related. Of course, we've looked at this at this website multiple times in the past week about this content. Of course, it did drop in the game um, with the, I think it's like career mode content. You can play with like the the, the clubs that are gonna be playing in this tournament, Kamibo Libertadores, and uh, all sorts of stuff in other areas of the game. But the part is that is relating to FIFA Ultimate Team, we haven't seen too much of that yet. We have seen the new icon, Rikelme, that has been put into the game. He's got a Prime and a Moments version, which to be honest with you, both of these cards, they're they're just okay, to be honest with you. The, the Moments card looks all right. Uh, oh, he's got, uh, interesting, he's got the Baby and the Middle version. I actually haven't even seen those. Obviously, they're not in packs, uh, but it's interesting that he has a Baby and a Middle version. So I guess technically they have those cards made and they're going to be, uh, putting them out in FIFA 21, or maybe he'll be available from like a baby or a mid icon pack if they ever do one of those. That could be interesting. But this card, you know, it does have five star skills. You got the four star weak foot, but the the, uh, the work rates are not ideal at all. Uh, and it just honestly looks like a card that you would have fun maybe dribbling around with <laughs> in the game. Uh, but other than that, it does not look super duper insane. Nothing fantastic about this card uh, being the prime moments version and the the prime version even is a little bit worse this one's had plus five pace over the prime so that was the content that we got earlier this week related to um Kamibo Liber libertadores uh but we're expecting more and also uh, just released this evening we had car designs released and this is where i'm getting some of the ideas for what i think this promo could be like it's starting to look like it could be similar to the champions league related content that we have because we have three car designs that were put into the database tonight courtesy of footwatch on twitter this is the first uh, this is the first one which looks pretty dope to me this honestly looks like some sort of special card either like an sbc card or you know we have champions league cards like we have champions league man of the match we have champions league road to the final i don't know if this is maybe like a road to the final-esque version or just a special version of somebody who's going to be in copa libertadores uh we have two other versions as well and this is what it reminds me of champions league because this to me looks like a non-rare champions league card and this one kind of looks like a rare version of a champions league card so this is just my guess that i almost feel like this might be the non-rare this could be the rare Supposedly, today in foot, we are getting 500 plus new players that are related to the rights from this promotion, is what I've been hearing uh, from, from the South American leagues and stuff that have not been entered into foot already. I know that if you actually go on the companion app and search through some of these leagues, there's some leagues in here that are like unlabeled. Uh, and you can see it on the companion app and the web app. They have some really interesting names and they obviously don't show up on console, but I think there are going to be a lot of actual players that are going to be added to the game today on Friday in foot related to South American leagues. Uh, the Brazilian league possibly could be getting some players. Uh, so I think that's where the content might come from. Now for those card designs, what kind of cards, you know, are going to be put on, on these cards dies. I really don't have any idea, boys. I really don't have any idea what they're going to do with these. Is this going to be a special team in packs? I mean, is are these cards going to be a packs? I'm really curious to see what they do with this promo today because I just don't know how hyped uh, this, uh, this promo is. I really just don't know how hyped this promo is. And I'm just seeing this right now. These both say Kamibo Libertadores on the very top, these two. And then this third one here says uh, Sudamerica. So... Actually, these cards might not be rare, non-rare versions. These might be totally different. With this this card right here being for uh, Kamibol Sudamerica, Kamibol Libertadores, 
and then uh, another version of Common Bowl Libertadores as well. So that could be something that's interesting. Um, oh, Common Bowl Recopa. Did one of those say Common Bowl Recopa on it? Nah. It said Common Bowl Libertadores. This one said Common Bowl Sud America. Okay, I don't know. So I'm really interested and really not sure what's going to be happening with these cards today. We will find out. But I feel like there's going to be more. There's going to be more today. Could they add more icons? That is a possibility. Some people have mentioned like Cafu and other Brazilian icons could be added to the game today. I feel like that's a possibility as well. As of right now in the game, I mean, if I try to go search Cafu, uh, nothing comes up, obviously, because he's just not in the game. But uh, maybe that's something that they could change today as we load into Friday and the content that we're getting today so i'm really unsure what it's going to look like with the coming bowl libertadores stuff again some people originally thought it was going to look like uh a totally new um a totally new promo with like a you know we had the world cup mode and had a separate section for that i don't think that they're going to do something like that because again i'm just really curious to see how deep and how far they go with this content because this content is really specific the copa libertadores is really specific to one region of the world but yet FIFA and FIFA Ultimate Team is played by people all around the world, right? You guys that are in the UK, uh, guys that are maybe in um, like Australia, you guys don't really have any ties to the Copa Libertadores or, you know, even the Commie Bowl Sud America. I keep saying Copa instead of Commie Bowl, but um, you guys get it. You don't really have ties to those things unless you're from South America and around those competitions. So I'm really interested to see what happens today. And that's why I also think that we could see more content today in the form of this Foot19 Player Days promo. Because last year, they dropped this promo right around this time. And basically what it was is like a market crash promo. They did this for the weekend. They dropped into packs the best of informs. We had engagement rewards. We had coin discount packs. Buy one, get one free packs. SBCs, login rewards, and custom kits. So basically it was like a filler promo. This would be the perfect type of thing that EA could add on to this Copa or Commie Bowl Libertadore stuff um, today. I think this is like the perfect thing they could just tag along with this promotion and include more of everybody on the game instead of just people that are in South America related to these promos. So that's kind of my feeling. And this could have some major, major market impacts today. If you throw... Um, old at old cards back into packs informs other um you know like they had a best of inform players here it actually doesn't show it on here i might have to find another website for you guys to find that squad actually i know where i can find it um right here this is where it is right here this these were the cards that were released last year in the foot player days best of so we had a man of the match card we had multiple informs we had some team of the group stages and one team of the um a UCL man of the match card is what we had re-released but I think there's a high possibility that something like this happens again and of course as I mentioned over here it was uh, BOGO packs and coin discount packs so buy one get one free packs um, and then a coin discount packs with those packs being half price so if that happens this weekend that will be massive for the market because there are tons of people on this game maybe they quit the game for a little bit or you know we haven't had any you know of these packs yet we haven't had the two for one or half price packs yet at all in fifa 20 and this is something that always messes with the market uh when we get something like this so last year what you saw with this was those cards that they put into packs these cards took a massive massive hit in price but some of these cards i think were actually released as um in the best of team of the week when they did that back during black friday so I think this Koulibaly, maybe not, maybe I'm overthinking this, but I feel like some of these guys were in packs then too last year. So these cards get hit with a ton of supply because people that have a couple hundred thousand coins just hop onto FIFA and they see half price packs and buy one, get one free packs in here. And of course it's only with coins, right? The only way you get the buy one, get one free and the half price packs is if you get the packs with coins, right? So it's a huge, huge coin sink because people cannot resist packs especially if they throw some commie bowl stuff uh in packs and then they throw the foot player days cards and they re-release informs and stuff you would see a massive massive crash on the market because that's just that's just what people would do with they see stuff going into packs um like that happened last year i'm actually going to look up some of these cards that we had last year 
I'm gonna look at their market movements with you really quick. Uh, so like, let's look at um, let's look at that Conte inform. I'll take you guys with me in a second when I can find that card. Um, let me go over here to Footbin and find this find this Conte card that you guys want to look at with me. Is it a 90 rated Conte? There he is, right here. This is the one 90 rated and Golo Conte, which was re released. It was the beginning of March. So if we go to March. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this drop, bro. Seriously, we got, we're gonna have to zoom in on this really quick. We are gonna have to zoom in on this really quick. Check out this drop right here. So this, this promotion started on March 1st, right? February 28th last year, the day before the promo started. This Conte card was 805,000 coins. What happens for three days he goes into packs? This card absolutely dies. By Monday the 4th, he's down almost, not quite cut in half, but he's down from 800,000 coins to 575,000 coins. And this happened with all of them. And he kind of just went low for the rest of the year, barely rebounded. And then we're obviously in a team this season and that sort of stuff. So this is kind of like a, a promo where a lot of cards could come to die in price. And you probably saw this happen even with team of the years. What did his team of the year do, dear, or do during this time? Because this is a time on the market where tons of people would lose coins. Yeah, look at this. So as price is going down, he takes a sharp drop during this promo from 2.5 mil down to 2.3. So that's 200,000 coins over a weekend. And then he continues to drop as we get more promos and then the game kind of dies out, I guess you could say. But there's if, if they do these half price packs and the buy one, get one free packs, it's crazy for the market because the amount of people that are just ripping 100K packs and getting two of them for 100,000 coins um, is nuts because people will seriously go nuts for that. So what, what are you going to see if that happens? You're going to see prices dropping all across the board. You're going to see icon moments cards that are dropping. Uh, you're going to see like one of my favorites, Cliver, right? I love trading with this card. I used him in game as well. He's insane. 1.4 million coins right now. I wouldn't be surprised if, if in that panic, when you see the buy one, get one free packs, most of that initial panic on those cards, um, that are not in packs, a lot of that panic happens straight away because people see and people interact with those buy one, get one free packs in the first two or three hours. That's when the most people get on and interact with those. Because if you think about it, if you have 150, 200,000 coins, you're kind of done with FIFA for the year and you're just going to say, F it. I'm going to go rip some 100K packs. I'm going to spend 200,000 coins, basically rinse my, my entire club of coins and I'll get four 100K packs instead of getting two for 200,000 coins because of the half price packs, then all of a sudden you're like, all right, whatever. They throw some stuff in packs. This is me kind of quitting FIFA in a sense. You rip it with coins. Whatever you get is what you get. Maybe you pack something sick and you're on the game for a little bit while longer. But that's the kind of mentality that some people will have this weekend with FIFA Ultimate Team. And that's something to be very, very careful with because of what that could do to player prices on the game. That's why you see me really liquid right now, because I think there is a possibility they have to do something. They can't just drop the, the Kamibo Libertadores promo this weekend unless they have something crazy planned for it. I just feel like there's got to be more. So that's why I'm really liquid right now. Thursday flipping was fantastic for me. Um, these Lewandowski's, I'll talk you guys through this really quick to end the video. Um, talk through the Thursday flipping stuff as we close out, kind of talking market on what we could see happen today. Um, these Lewandowski's were bought at 200,000 coins, all four of them. These Dybala's were bought at 110K or below. I had, to, I had to sell a few of these cards off before, before 6 p.m. I thought we were gonna get a loading screen. We did not. Um, all of these Hollands were bought. Dude, this card was an incredible Thursday flip for me this week. For no reason last night, this guy was like 200,000 coins. He was 240 earlier in the day. So I bought all of these under 205,000 coins. I think it was the like 199 to 205 was my buy price on these. Made massive money on those. That's like 30 to 40, 30,000 coins a card almost after tax on some of those. These Trent Alexander Arnolds will break even. These Sancho's I bought at 63. All three of these I bought at 63K. I bought this at 109. I bought all these at 105 to 106. So I made like five, 6K a card there. Those Allens I got out of at break even. These Havertz's I basically made one to two K on. This Goretz scribe made one to two K on. I made 10 K on that. And then all these Gabriel Jesus cards I bought for 54 to 55 K. So I made a solid five to six K on those. And then, you know, just a lot of five to six K flips, but the Holland and the Lewandowski were massive for me this week. And you might ask, why did I go for mostly Bundesliga stuff? Just based on all the special cards that we have gotten lately from the Bundesliga, 
I knew there would be a lot of people building squads with Bundesliga links needed. Uh, so that's why I bought some of those striker cards, the Lewa, the Holland, the couple of Goretzkas that I flipped in there as well. Um, yeah, so that was my Thursday flipping. I'm fully liquid right now, except for some 86s and 85s in the club, because I have been absolutely smashing it on the transfer profit these past, basically this past month, best, the past three or four weeks. Uh, if you look at my transfer profit, of course it reset because we're in a new month. I'm at 4.1 million already, and we are five days into the month of March. It's been a crazy last couple weeks for me with some insane icon snipes and just being able to trade a lot with the icons. Um, I can honestly say this, boys, that about I have 6.5 million coins right now, and about a month ago I probably only had 2.5. So I I thoroughly believe that I have made about four and a half million coins um, since basically the end of the headliners promo. Or yeah, headliners or future stars after like week one of future stars. I think basically right before the icon moments came out is when I started trading hard again. Uh, and then we have just gone really hard with the icon moments, which are in some, again, some insane flips and insane, insane snipes that I've been able to find, but the profit has been crazy. So we are climbing upwards. And again, team of the season is my main time, my main big goal that I'm going for here. I want, definitely want to have 10 million coins liquid before that time frame. I think it's going to be very possible because of how we've been going and progressing lately. And that's still what, like a month or so away. So I'm, I'm, I'm really confident that we will get to 10 million coins uh, in the near future, which would be awesome because I haven't hit double digits this year. Or what is that? Seven digits? Is that seven digits? Yeah, no, eight digits. I want to hit eight digits on the year in terms of coin total because I did that last year and I want to do it again this year as well. Uh, but again, if we see the foot player days promo today, if you see anything related to this today, right? I feel like we're getting something. Something else has to be added on to this promo, I think, just because EA knows that this isn't something that's going to impact the entire the entire world, right? The entire world of foot content. This isn't like super duper hype for some of you guys that are in, you know, the UK. So that's why I feel like we're going to get something along the lines of foot player days or maybe even Carnival. But I feel like it's a little bit too early for Carnival because of what they when they ran it last year. So we'll see what happens today. It's a big day on, on content regardless because this uh, the economy bowl. Uh, Libertadori stuff is just a lot. If they're really adding 500 players to the game today and more icons, that's a lot of stuff they have to add. Um, but I just feel like there's got to be, it's got to be something else to it, right? So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you think there's going to be some hype content today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new, boys. All right, it's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.